Search of Frankenstein explores the environmental and social issues of our time through the themes of Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein, written in 1816 on the shores of Lake Geneva, um, which is where I visited. I did a artist residency in um, 2015 um, with an organisation called the 3D Foundation in Verbier. And I used that time to research Mary Shelley, The Year Without Summer, and the landscapes in which she occupied at that time. You know, part of the problem with photographing the Swiss Alps is they're so picturesque and they look kind of chocolate boxy, but suddenly this, this different weather system came in and kind of echoed the year without summer, um, this time in 1816 when there was such terrible weather conditions um, that Mary Shelley was kept indoors day after day and ended up writing Frankenstein. So it's now 200 years since Mary Shelley wrote her novel Frankenstein, which has had this extraordinary impact um, for centuries later. So it's, it's a great moment to look back at, at that original text, but also see how many of those themes are still so relevant to us today. In this series of work, I've chosen to focus on two kinds of landscapes, the external, um, very blown out, um, overexposed photographs of, of the alpine um, gla glaciers and slopes and mountains in Switzerland and France, and then also <clears throat> put alongside the nuclear bunkers. There's an extraordinary network of nuclear bunkers throughout Switzerland that was built, built in the 1960s to accommodate um, the whole population in case of nuclear disaster. And so I was really, you know, drawn to those spaces, almost as the, you know, the nuclear bomb being the epitome of um, the kind of, or, or, or the, the perfect symbol, I should say, of, of, of the Frankenstein's monster. You know, this, this extraordinary power, this creation that has, that has been made by scientists that has the ability to destroy us all in an instant. And so I wanted to put those two environments next, to, next door to one another with that overarching title, In Search of Frankenstein, to, to, to allow people to think about these beasts, these things that we have created and, and their effect on the landscape around us. Having made the body of work, body of photographic work out in Switzerland, I came back to London and was really, was really keen to see the actual manuscript, so where the book had come from and where now 200 years later all these extraordinary different films, books, comics, you know, endless theatre productions have been made from this book, but I really wanted to go to the root of it to see the actual manuscript itself that had been written out in Geneva in 1816. So I contacted the Bodleian Library who have the, the copy of the book. It was interesting in the sense that it was, it was quite a different environment to, that I expected. However, there was still this amazing vibrancy and this amazing energy that, that I felt from the pages because you could see this quite quick script and you know, the knowledge and all these crossings out and, and, and changes and, and then you get Percy Shelley, her soon to be husband's text and thoughts in the margins and you know the excitement to look at something that's 200 years old that was written by an 18 year old girl um, and think of what the effect and the influence has been since then I mean it's it's extraordinary <laughs>